why Chandrayaan-2 is critical for India and space exploration. Hello and welcome to Neo Press Magazine. Chandrayaan-2 is the pride of our nation and not just because it is the second unmanned lunar mission for our country, but also it has made India the only country to land on the moon's dark side, that is the South Pole. 11 years after its first unmanned mission to the moon, Chandrayaan-2 includes a lunar orbiter, a lander and a rover. With the help of this mission, the Indian scientists would inch closer to tracing the origin and evolution of the moon. Let us remind you that Chandrayaan-1 in 2008 had first provided some evidence regarding the presence of water on the lunar surface. So, as part of the mission Chandrayaan-2, certain experiments would be conducted which would focus on the distribution of water on and below the lunar surface. The experiments are very important because the discovery of water is very crucial in finding the moon's origin and also in deciding the future course of lunar explorations. Even a tiny sample of primeval water on the moon can open doors to major findings about the origin of water on moon and the earth as well. According to the Indian Space Research Organization, manned missions are sure to take place by expanding the existing boundaries of exploration. That means explorations are going to increase for the moon and the solar system in general. In such explorations, the moon could very well form the base for fuel, oxygen and other critical raw materials. Chandrayaan-2 is carrying 13 payloads, 5 of which are from India, 3 from Europe and 2 from US. Out of the 13 payloads, 3 would be loaded on the lander, 2 on the rover and the remaining 8 on the orbiter. Apart from other important things, these payloads include X-ray monitors to help understand the moon's mineral composition and seismic activities. Let us tell you that the orbiter will revolve around the moon for a year. It carries a dual frequency synthetic aperture radar which can detect and search buried water at least a few meters below the lunar surface. If the mission proves to be successful, then India will become only the fourth country after the US, Russia and China to carry out soft landing on the moon. Let us all pray that the hard work of our scientists does not go in vain and the mission achieves complete success.